Be inspired with the special message from Bishop Macedo. Hello, dear friends. A very good morning. And may God bless you all. May this day be the best day of our lives, isn't it? May the Holy Spirit guide, guide our thoughts, our heart, so that we may make the perfect choices, choices according to the will of God. And we've been speaking about the fear of the Lord. And I'd like you to understand the following. When we speak about the fear of the Lord, in reality, deep down, we are talking about salvation itself, the salvation of our soul. That's it. The eternity of our soul with God, not with the devil. So, in order for us, pay attention please, in order for us to keep our salvation, eternal salvation, the salvation of our soul, we have to keep the fear towards our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, the fear of the Lord is not a matter of just feeling like fearing God. Oh, I feel like it. Whether you feel like it or not, whether you feel like fearing God, doesn't mean anything. What matters is that you decide to fear God. So, the fear of the Lord is a matter of personal decision. You decide in your head, I want it. Why? Because at every moment you have the option, you, I, everyone, we have the choice of choosing whether good or bad, yes or no. At all times, you can notice that all of our choices are always going to be towards good or evil, towards to what is righteous or unrighteous. It depends on the decision we make in our mind. So, when we decide to turn to what is right and righteous and correct and truthful and blameless and honest, then this is to fear God. You make this decision even if it contradicts your will, even if it contradicts your feelings. But I, because I fear the Lord, I will not choose, I will not follow this path. So this is important because I think, I believe that the fear of the Lord is our daily bread that sustains our soul with joy, firstly with peace, and secondly with joy. With peace naturally comes joy. So those who are wise, those who are wise, those who use their intelligence, their reasoning, obviously that they will decide to follow the path of righteousness. Because there is a verse that says, a holy text that says that the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. So when a person hates what's evil, everything that is evil, not only evil for themselves, but for others as well, it's pointless for you not to want evil for yourself, but to wish it on others. There's more. This is very strong. The Bible says that in Proverbs that we shouldn't let our hearts be envious of sinners. Do not let your heart envy sinners, those who do not fear God. Sinners are those who don't fear God. This is a person that in reality doesn't fear God, a person who doesn't 
consider God. So they have their desire to possess the things that sinners have, which is the case with Asaph, that, that in, in Psalm 73 said, I was envious of the sinners, of the wicked. My feet almost slipped. I almost fell in temptation because I was observing the sinners because apparently they prosper and they get rich even if it's by the means of stealing, of being corrupt, deceits and lies, but they get rich. But the end of this wealth leads to death, eternal death. So the text here says, do not let your heart, meaning your feelings, don't let your heart envy sinners the wicked ones, those who do not fear God, but be zealous for the fear of the Lord all the day. It's our daily bread. The fear of the Lord is our daily bread. Actually, I wouldn't even say our daily bread, but it's our bread for every moment, every second, because there will always, always be the option of choosing between good and evil, whatever is our choice. So each one has to choose for themselves. So if you take care of your soul in order for it not to be envious of the wicked who don't fear God, then you decide, no, stop it. I will turn my back on this. I will get rid of this in my mind, I will take this away from, from my eyes, I will not look at the sinners, I will remove my thoughts from the wicked ones, leave them in their wickedness. What matters is that we will take care of our own heart, our own soul, because the soul is eternal, a soul doesn't die. It lives, it will live eternally. From the moment that a person, that a woman gives birth to a child, that's it. Then that child, the soul of that child will live eternally. Even after they go to eternity, they will live eternity either with God or they will live eternity in hell. It will depend on their choices here on earth. It will depend on their fear towards God. If they fear God, if they will fear God, if they will live in the fear of the Lord, if they will eat that daily bread, which is to fear God every day at every moment, then the eternity of their soul will be guaranteed for all eternity. Can it be any clearer? This is not my ideology, my thoughts. No, we are speaking here of what God says in His Word. God says in His Word clearly that, that we cannot be envious of sinners. Do not be envious of sinners. This is to fear God when we are not envious of sinners, then we are taking action, the action to fear God. Just to summarize then, to fear God is not a feeling, is not to feel this or that. To fear God is to run away from evil, to hate evil. To fear God is not to look at the sinners, the wicked, who are living in their sins and mistakes with envy. We have to look after our own belly bottom. Let's put it this way. When it concerns the salvation of the soul, each one has to take care of themselves. So here's the tip for you who are watching me right now. And perhaps you are getting ready now to go to work. Pay attention. Take care of your soul. 
because it is the most precious thing. It is eternal. The rest will be left behind. May God bless you all. And by the way, before I say goodbye, if you are that person that lives with problems, with doubts, fears, nervousness, insomnia, you are afraid of everything, you are anxious, you are nervous, you are someone who is being thinking of committing suicide, whatever sort of problems you have, it's your soul screaming for help. So take your soul today to a universal church of the kingdom of God because there will be a spiritual cleansing, powerful cleansing for everyone, all those whose lives are heavy laden, heavy by evil spirits. May God bless you all and I'll see you tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.